And this is a haunted attraction that there are a handful of these throughout the country. It goes more than just being your regular haunted attraction. I guess they call it full contact. Is this like the tough mutter of haunted houses? Uh, you have to sign a super, super long waiver. And allegedly in the waiver, there's such things as uh, they're able to pull your teeth if they feel oh. like pulling your teeth. Uh, they basically waterboard you. They can shave your head, shave your eyebrows, torture you. And yeah, it gets pretty hairy. It's not just like you walking through a haunt because a lot of these, there's zero contact, right? There's jump scares and a boop. Yeah, and things jump out at I'll you. I'll say, for example, I did, uh, and, I did Field of Screams, right. and they had me one year. I was one of the attractions. Actually, you were in, <clears throat> in it. And I was given explicit instructions. Right. You get in their, get in their face, but don't try and don't make any motions with your hands towards their face. Like, don't act like you're going to slap or punch or bite. Jump out, be spooky, but these are still people. And... In preparation for this, we watched another one. Mike, what was the one we watched a clip of in Pennsylvania that has since been shut down where they made you go through it naked and they could just like feel you up? And I think Scott Lee astutely pointed out while watching it, that's just sexual assault. You're just you're just having someone feel your wife up in the dark. They call it survival horror. Yeah, I'll play Resident Evil. Okay. Uh, And yeah, full contact survival, whatever else the hell you want to call it. You have a clip here, Michael? Yeah, here's a little montage of people in the midst of oh, this God. whole ordeal. Oh, man. I don't care! I am here to hurt you! <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. No, I can't do it, 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 I can't do it! I, can't do it. I want to get out of here! <laughs> well, I can't do it again. I just want to go home with my grandmother and my daughter, my husband, please. Please, they want me home, too. They want me home. They don't want me here. You won't make it through. You won't make it through. It's too much. It's too much. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I want to go home. I'm leaving McKamey Manor. Thank God. Do not come here. Please let me help. No, it should be here. It's horrible. That, man. <laughs> yeah, and we no. watched some of the videos. I, I don't know. Mike and I watched a really big, long thing where a guy was in it. And towards the end of it, we were just like, this is goofy. It's kind of those goofy. actors? I think they're real people. I don't think it's put on. Uh, you, Josh, you would have you would have been upset with us for watching the footage of this thing. Much less this thing. It's... Oh, it's grotesque. There was a scene where they took, I guess, quote unquote, motor oil and like grinding it all over a guy's face and eyes and ears. And I mean, that, that could be like shortening with brown food coloring or whatever. I don't know, because I feel like motor oil would like genuinely hurt or engine grease. It was engine grease. Yeah. Like that would hurt you. That would that would lead to like massive skin abrasions and irritation. Uh, I, I will say we're going to talk to the guy coming up. Russ McCamey. He owns the manor. It's horrifying enough as is when you've just got some lunatic dressed up in a pig mask, uh, shaving your beard while you're duct taped to a chair. I didn't need the accents. The accents were kind of taking me out of it. Yeah, it would have been even creepier if maybe they didn't speak. If you just talk like your normal self, that's that's extremely scary. Like, hey, I'm going to tie you down to this chair now, and I'm going to definitely hook car batteries up to your nipples, and whenever I feel like it, it's time to go ahead and unleash the juice. Ah! But instead, like, it's now time for me to remove a layer of your fire meat. I'm like, ah, that part's rattling me not so much as the guy crying and snotting and screaming because they took, like, what's the stuff you wrap up furniture? It's like the the, the plastic spool. They, there's like a yeah, spool like a of plastic. Saran wrap. Yeah, saran like saran wrap. wrap. Yeah, and they, like, saran wrap a guy's entire head and, like, just poke enough holes in it for the guy to breathe. At that point, your old Cockney English accent isn't needed. I, I'm panicking enough as is. Uh, from their frequently asked questions from McCammy Manor. We're talking about McCammy Manor. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says, uh, what type of attraction do you have? It says 10 plus hour extreme Shit. attraction. I don't think it's 10 plus hours. It, 
A 10 plus hour extreme attraction in which you must meet the requirements. Reservation are required due to the intense nature of the experience. Not your typical boo haunted house. You have been warned. Uh, then it also says, how long does it take to go through? Depends on how well the guest does. Uh, will the actors touch us or can we touch the actors? Yes, the actors will come in contact with you, but you cannot touch the actor or props. Um, can we be thrown out of the haunted house for any reason? Yes, we do not allow foul language, pushing <laughs> vulgar behavior, <laughs> weapons of any kind, smoke alcohol. Where was the other one? Uh, can be? Can you be injured during the haunt? You must be in excellent health to participate in the extreme tour you will incur very physical and mentally demanding environments. Jeez. Make sure to follow the. Oh, it's all jacked up. I can't really read it, but it's like yeah, it's extreme. It's extreme, and I don't know, Mike. What did you think when we watched it? Because you and I both had kind of the same feeling towards the end of it. It just was like ridiculous. They're just like yeah. splashing stuff on you, and there's one where they they like tie you up and handcuff you and throw you like in a a, a meat locker. And they close like the meat locker, like one of those uh, freezers with the, where the lid opens. Oh, God. And they throw you in the freezer and oh, they I'm close out. the lid on you. Or they push <laughs> yeah, you into a, a drainage ditch. And I did see them put like tarantulas on a woman's face mm -mm. and cockroaches. And that would definitely, uh, yeah, I could definitely not do that. But yeah, a lot of it just seemed like they're like bopping them in the head with like a, the batons and smearing like what looks like blood all over their face. And a lot of it's just weird. Yeah, um, uh, we were and, getting uh, tweets about it. Uh, Ariel says, oh, oh, man, sign us up. Ariel, I love you. I love Tim. You don't make it out of the parking lot for this thing. And who are the people that uh, Watch the are signing up for this? And what does it say about them? Yeah, I want to see. I'm trying to find the clip that I heard Joe bring to the program where it was the guy. I think it was this guy, Russ, talking to a woman. He was like berating her. Why'd you even come here? You had no business being here. I told you not to sign up. You should have never come here. He's like, I wanted to see how far you could push me. I wanted like, it's, oh, this is her. She's unwell. We have the owner of McKamey Manor, uh, Russ McKamey, on the phone. Good morning, Russ. What's up, guys? How you doing? Ooh, terrified. Uh, good. Now, this time of year, you know, we work in radio, and then there's a lot of advertisement that comes flooding into the station this time of year of uh, haunted attractions and haunts all around the Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania area. Everyone's the scariest thing you've ever been through. It'll change your life. You'll have to stretch <laughs> out on a psychiatrist's sofa at the end of it. But then there's you. Yeah, Russ, yours goes a little bit uh, further. How do, you, what, how do you describe it? What is it? What do you consider it? It is probably it's, it's it's a it's a survival horror boot camp experience where you actually live your own horror movie and to where literally for real I give each contestant this is legit I give them twenty thousand dollars when you start the tour and if they can get through it then whatever they keep at the end of the end of the game it's theirs they keep the money so they they, uh, they give you money back or something if they want you to stop doing something is that how it works yeah so yeah, exactly. So it's like a game show. So if you can't complete an assignment or a task, uh, the haunt's broken up into things called tasks, stunts, or breakers. And if you can't complete those, then I take away five hundred dollars. And if you if you can, then you know you're coming out with twenty grand. So it's uh, pretty cool. All for. A, the emission of dog food, literally a bag of dog food gets you into the tour. So it's pretty crazy. Yeah, yes. Apparently oh there's a, a Greyhound rescue tied in with that. And that's where all the dog food goes to. Well, it used to be Greyhound rescue in San Diego, in San Diego but now we're out here in Tennessee. And oh. now it's just helping out a lot of homeless animals. It's, unfortunately, there's a lot of dogs out here that roam free. And so we just kind of take care of all the dogs we can find. Wow, Russ McCamey joining us on the phone here, owner of McCamey Manor. It is a survival horror haunt experience. And Russ, what's your background? Uh, what what makes you so good at this? I, I hypothesize you're like sure. someone that Delta Force would use to uh, interrogate someone, to make some insurgent crack to get information. How how did you get so affluent at this? Well, I was I was in the military for 23 years. And my specialty, I was called the counselor, and I used to work at what they call black sites. I don't know if you know what a black oh, site yeah. is. It's where yep. we, okay, so my specialty is mind control, hypnosis, 
uh, medication and things like that. So, uh, yeah, that's my background, and that's what... That's my ace up my sleeve is uh, is the hypnosis, for example. So it's really difficult to get through this place because, you know, people think, you can't hypnotize me, Russ. I go, well, okay, but I'll do it without them even knowing it. Hey. And I'll, I'll sit them in a kiddie pool with three inches of water and tell them there's a great white shark in there with them, and they'll be freaking out thinking there's a shark in this little kid's pool. So it's difficult to get around that. I was uh, We're talking to uh, Russ McKamey, McKamey Manor, which is basically a full contact haunt, that uh, game show type thing. And it's open on the weekends year-round. Only a few people get to go through every weekend. There's two locations. How do you monitor the location you're not at? Well, no, it's actually just one location. I mean, we it's it, we we go to different areas. So okay. it starts in Summertown, Tennessee, and then I then I drive you around to various locations in Tennessee, and then if you do well enough, then I take you to the Big Boy Show, which is in Alabama. So I'm your little taxi guy. So I'll drive you around and bring you back to where you need to be. So that's so, how that works. Out. So you start with twenty grand, so weird. and throughout the day and the, the night, and challenges break people, and they cut you off five hundred to stop or to move on. What's the most anybody's ever left with, if anything? Um, in 19 years, that would be a whopping zero. <laughs> that would be nothing. <sighs> no one's ever left so, with a dime. Not a dime. So in 19 years, let's just take this this new location, uh, the new spot just since we've been here in July of last year, and nobody's lasted zero seconds. Not zero. So the record right now, if someone comes here and they last one second, they are the grand champ. No one's lasted a second yet. I'm so confused. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. How do you not last a second? I mean, just by setting foot in the door, I think a second would tick by. What? What's? Well, that's a good question. I like that. No, the act, actually, um, the clock does not start until you start your first stunt. So you, you get here at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we do the contract. We do a lot of silly games. Things that I evaluate you on. I need to find out where you're at mentally and physically so I know what I can and cannot do. Gotcha. But I actually want you to succeed. So when the sun goes down, that's what that's why we call it down the dreaded sundown. When the sun goes down, it gets serious. And then you have to get to your first stunt. But people freak out to such an extent before that that it's just game over. And it it never fails. It's always the same thing. So it's just, uh, it's pretty psychologically, it's fascinating to watch people go through this. Ross McCamey joining us from McCamey Manor. What's the one activity in there? And I don't want you to give up the goose. I know I wanted to be a surprise sure. to people that are listening and might want to do it. But what seems to be the thing that breaks people more than anything else? Well, there's there's literally thousands of things to do. You could spend 10 days here and never do the same thing. But I guess an example of something that's fun to do is a stunt called Oblivion and Spectrum, which is a 200-yard underwater swim. It's under it's in a maze, but you're swimming with live caimans. A caiman oh, is an alligator. And they will, and they will bite you. Uh, one in particular, his name is Ralphie, and Ralphie is very aggressive. And um, so, those are the kind of things you're going to do. We're you're not worried about them you know, drowning. Is there like, I mean, it's underwater, yeah. and it, is it covered? I mean, is there room for air? You need to really. That's why I have to evaluate you beforehand, and I do test on you to find out how long you can hold your breath and what? other things. So it I'm, is dangerous. I don't know, Russ. I'm just sitting here trying to like process all this. I know you say it's been 19 years. We just damn heard about you. We didn't know it was 19 years. And I, I, I guess, I don't know. It doesn't see, where does all the funding for this come from? It just comes from, um, you know, my Navy days and I'm, you know, Bottom line, I'm just an entertainer. I, I'm a comedian, a singer, a wedding guy. I, I just like to entertain and put on a big show. Ross? And um, I, I just kind of fund it myself just out of my Navy retirement. So I'm not a rich guy. I don't make any money at this at all. It's just something I like to do to entertain the folks. What happened to you? 
Yeah. Why? <laughs> what happened to you? What happened it, to you, Russ? It's, like, it's like putting out a big play. It's just like, you know, the old Judy Except Garland. With Mickey Cayman. There's no Cayman in plays. There's hey, no let me ask you this. Somebody sent us a co- oh. copy of what they claimed was the contract, and it says that you're there in the contract that you're signing the right away that you can pull someone's teeth without Novocaine. That is true. That oh. is true. But you also... Oh. But you also, see now, here's the thing. I'm not going to pull anything. I don't lay a hand on you. In fact, there are no actors. It's just you against me. So it's your your brain against my brain. Can you not let me get inside your head? Because you're going to do everything to yourself. I'm not going to do anything to anybody. And But I'm I so have confused. the control... I have the magic that I can make people do some crazy things, and that's where it gets really difficult. So it's just you against little old Russ. I mean, how tough can that be? It sounds <laughs> horrifying. I mean, I mean, if you want to follow him on Twitter, at McCamey Manor, and even in the bio, it says, come prepared, and seriously, you really don't want to do this. You're actively telling people, turn around, you're not capable of this. The website, McCameyManor.com. Just do a Google image search. It's just it's, insane. Uh, it's yeah. so insane. Yeah. God, it's the laughter. God, your laughter yeah, is on yeah, yeah. Russ, <laughs> Russ, Russ. Oh, man, I, I hate it. that laugh. Russ, we appreciate you I taking know, the I time, know. man, talking to us. Uh, I, I right, wish guys. you good luck, but you sound like you don't need any. You're undefeated. Uh, undefeated. Undefeated. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, that is the most I can't make heads or tails of this crap.